We all go through some kind of stress in our daily lives. It can be related to work, family, health, money, relationships, kids, the list goes on. And we all know that stress is bad for our physical and emotional health. But are you aware of the damaging effects of long-term chronic stress? Let's explore how stress affects your brain. According to researchers, chronic stress changes your brain structure and functions, which can lead to a myriad of mental problems. It increases the levels of a stress hormone called cortisol, affecting brain functions and putting you at risk for various mood disorders and other mental issues such as depression and anxiety. Your brain is surrounded by a protective shield called the blood-brain barrier. This layer filters harmful substances and prevents them from entering our brain. Now, what does this have to do with stress? Researchers believe that stress makes this barrier more leaky, allowing substances that you do not want in your brain to pass through, such as pathogens, toxins, and other harmful chemicals. High levels of stress hormones can stop the production of new brain cells in the part of your brain that stores memories, which can negatively affect your memory. Research has shown that exposure to stress right before a memory retention test leads to decreased performance in both human and animal subjects. Stress can actually kill your brain cells by creating molecules called free radicals in the brain. These free radicals attack brain cells, rupturing and killing newly formed ones. This was shown in a study where researchers exposed young rats to a stressful situation. After a week, they found that rats under stress had a reduced number of brain cells when compared to those in the control group. While stress reduces the size of brain areas associated with emotions and self-control, making it more difficult to deal with stressful situations in the future, it also increases the activity levels in the brain region known as the amygdala, which is the brain's fear center. So, as you get stressed, you become more fearful, which can lead to anxiety and more stress, which causes you to be fearful, which causes... well, you get the point. Stress also increases the production of myelin, an insulating layer around the nerve cells, but produces fewer neurons. This excess of myelin disturbs the balance of communication and timing within the brain circuitry, disrupting how neurons connect with each other. The brain has special immune cells called microglia that protect the brain from infections and toxins. Once these immune cells are activated, they cannot switch off until they die, which can result in brain inflammation. Under the effects of chronic stress, these microglia can become activated. In other words, when your head is full of stress, your brain can literally become inflamed. When you are under stress, your body does not produce the feel-good hormones such as dopamine and serotonin in the ways that it should. Low levels of these hormones over longer periods of time can leave you depressed and more prone to addiction. One of the most worrying effects of stress on the brain is that it increases your risk for neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia and Alzheimer's. I know this was a lot of information, and now you might be stressed out about being stressed out. Take a deep breath and relax. The effects of stress on the brain don't need to be permanent, and by being aware of your own mental health, you can learn techniques to identify your stressors and mitigate their impact on you. It's important to keep these things in mind and to recognize your limits. By doing this, you can take much better care of yourself and be able to manage your life more confidently.